Here we have a diagram of a rectangular based pyramid. X and Y and Z axes. You notice that the vertex V is directly above the centre of this rectangle. We're given the coordinates of A, we're given the coordinates of V. We're asked to write down the coordinates of B. Now let's have a look at the symmetry that's going on here. Travelling from A to the centre of this rectangle, will have moved to an x-coordinate of 5 from an x-coordinate of 2. That's a distance of 3. And therefore, by the symmetry of the, the figure, travelling from V out to this point would be another distance of 3. So we've established that this distance this side of the base rectangle must be 6 units. We'll do a similar type of exercise going from here to the centre of this line. We'll have travelled along the y-axis, parallel to the y-axis, 0 to y-coordinate is 2. So this is a distance of two units and therefore by symmetry if we continue travelling along this line to B we'll have travelled another two units. So this side of the rectangle on base is length four units. So we've now solved the first part of this problem writing down the coordinates of B Perhaps we'll not do it there. Coordinates of B, X coordinate going from the origin to the point A is two units, followed by another six units, that's eight. Now travelling along the Y axis, we've travelled. 0 from 0, 4 units to get to B. How high do we go? We don't move up and down parallel to the z-axis because that point B is lying on the x-y plane. It's the base of the pyramid. So z-coordinate is 0. So now let's have a look at the next part of the question calculate the length of edge AV of the pyramid and let's do that in three different ways the first way we're going to do this is to consider the journey we take travelling from A to the point V and we'll write that as a vector So we've gone x coordinate 2 to x coordinate 5. That's a distance of 3. So the x component would be 3. We're then travelling from the, along parallel to the y axis, 0 to 2. x component is 2. The z component, travelling up parallel to the z axis, we're going from 0 up to 6. Now you could also uh, do this in terms of position vectors if you know what they are. V minus A. V would be the journey from the origin up to the point V. And A would be the journey from the origin along to A. 5 minus 2 is 3. 2 minus 0 is 2. 6 minus 0 is 6. We get the same thing. Now, the distance AV, the length of edge AV, 
hearts without an arrow would be the magnitude of that journey from A to V, the vector AV. So that's the magnitude of 3, 2, 6. And the result that you should know is if you have a vector with components A, B, C, then the magnitude of the vector is the sum, square root of the sums of the squares of the components, a squared plus b squared plus c squared square rooted. So in this case, 3 squared plus 2 squared plus 6 squared. That's 9 plus 4 plus 36. Square root of 49, 7. Calculate the length of edge AV in the pyramid. We've done that. Its length is 7 units. So that's one method of solving this. Let's have a look at a second method. And this involves a distance formula. I might know the distance formula if you have two points on the plane x1 uh, y1 and x2 y2 the distance formula tells you the distance between these two points and it involves the difference of the two x coordinates squared plus the difference of the two y coordinates squared. If you're in three dimensions like here you just add on a third uh, a difference of the z coordinates squared. So in this case, we would be doing the distance formula using 2, 0, 0 and 5, 2, 6. So straight away, the distance of that line joining A to V would be the x difference squared. That's 5 minus 2 squared. The y difference, 2 minus 0 squared. The z difference... 6 minus 0 squared. So that's 3 squared, 9, 2 squared, 4, 6 squared, 36. And again, that's the square root of 49, which gives us 7. So that's the second method. The third method is just to use Pythagoras' theorem in right angle triangles. Now you can you can see right-angled triangles. There's one here that I'm outlining in green, and there's the right angle. We know that the two lengths of the shorter sides are 3 and 2. So there's the green triangle, 3 and 2. The hypotenuse of that would be the square root of 3 squared plus 2 squared. 9 plus 4, which is 13. So that's the square root of 13. Now there's a larger triangle. Let me outline it in purple. There it is. We've already calculated that this is the square root of 13. Incidentally, there is a right angle there. It's opposite this right angle. So that line there, square root of 13, we just work that out from the small triangle, the 3, 2 triangle, the green triangle. So that's root 13. This height we know is 6. It's just the height of V above the base. And therefore, Pythagoras, to get this, would be the square root of root 13 squared is just 13 root 13 times root 13. That's just 13. Plus 6 squared. That's the square root of 49, which is 7. So again, the length of AV is 7 units. So there's the third method.